The Ghana AIDS Commission has launched a new data collection tool called the Ghana Key Population Unique Identification System. It is a web-based system developed to help transform data processing in HIV prevention, treatment, care, and support for persons living with HIV and AIDS in the country. Research shows an alarming increase in the HIV and AIDS prevalent rate in Ghana. For instance, the National AIDS Program reports that the number of infections rose from 12,000 people in 2015 to over 20,000 people in 2016. This figure represents more than a 70% increase within a 12-month period. And for a nation which aims at meeting the UN Sustainable Development Goal number 3, which targets to end it, which targets to end AIDS by 2030, this news is worrying. The health experts say the country therefore needs an effective approach to control such numerical surges to ensure a reduction and a subsequent eradication of HIV and AIDS. They say to achieve this, there is not only the need to have a comprehensive database to help track and analyze the trend of HIV and AIDS, but also offer treatment and support to affected persons. Therefore, the newly developed data collection tool, according to the acting director general of the Ghana AIDS Commission, Mr. Chuemi Chiahine, would give the commission and other key players access to a much more centralized and secure database of persons affected with HIV and AIDS in the country. The system seeks to manage data and services provided to all key populations and vulnerable groups. Key populations are marginalized and are hard to reach. HIV prevalence in these subpopulations is several times higher than that of the general population. The Chief Executive Officer of West Blue Consulting, Mr. Mark Addo, said introducing the Ghana Key Population Unique Identification System would improve efficiency in the work of the Ghana AIDS Commission and help in the long-term vision of ending the HIV and AIDS menace. The tool was developed by the Ghana AIDS Commission with technical support from West Blue Consulting and funded by the government of Ghana.